Hi there, I'm Don Nino and I'd like to share some of my uh, visits and some of my experiences in the magical world of radio. It's been funny stuff, it's been serious stuff, and uh, kind of unusual. I started back in 1960 and I had found out a year earlier from a uh, friend of my dad's that you needed a certain class of license to work at a radio station. You couldn't just walk in if it had a certain type of antenna. And uh, 1220 Radio in Hamden was one of the stations I visited. Now, I was a student at Quinnipiac. I had just started in college. And I went up to Hamden, and it just happened to work out that the engineer, the chief engineer at, the, at 1220, WDEE, was leaving the next day. So what I did was I just, they grabbed me up right off the bat. They couldn't have been any faster as far as hiring me. And I went in the next day, and I trained, and... I was there for oh, off and on about three years before I went in the military. And after I'd been there oh, a couple of months, I saw the newsman. I got to be kind of friendly with these guys. They were very helpful. I was mentored by a lot of, a lot of good people when I started. And he said, I said, well, how, what do, you, how do you do this as far as uh, reading news and so forth? And he showed me how to organize it. So I started doing news. And a couple of months later, I started doing music. That was that was a lot of fun. We were a middle of the road station. Frank Sinatra, Montavani, Franny and Teicher, Peggy Lee, things like that. So it worked out pretty well. And I used to have to go out to the transmitter towers and walk out in the snow or rain or mud or whatever it happened to be every half hour. That's all changed now. 1984, the FCC got rid of the idea of needing an engineer, but it was pretty helpful to me. One of the things that I did later on when I was in the Navy, I was in from 1963 to 1967, uh, th one of the ships I was on, in fact, my favorite ship, the o USS Oklahoma City, is a cruiser, and they had a complete ship's radio station on the ship, and uh, I started doing that because I, in my spare time, because I was a radio operator, but not the kind you had. I used to do Morse code and things like that, but I decided to go to the DJ, be the DJ, and I ended up being the program director for the ship's radio station. An awful lot of fun. It was CLGM5, as that was our call letters, just uh, something we had on the ship. And I did the 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. show, the top 20 hits. We used to play oldies. We'd play the current hit records, Beatles, and everything like that. And I had a fellow that followed me, and this guy was one of the great characters I've known from radio. This fellow's name, his real name was Bill Dollar. And he was a d country DJ from Birmingham, Alabama. And I, 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 he'd be there shaking his head and going crazy. He taught me a lot about country music, which I knew nothing about, and about bluegrass, which I knew nothing about. But he was just a character and a half. And it just worked out so well. And when I first got out, out of the service, I lasted a whole week. I said, I've got to do something. So I went over to WFIF, and that's in Milford. And what I ended up doing was I was hired right away, and they were playing country music. So I was all set. I had just learned some of it from Bill Dollar. So we, were, we had our studios up in the Connecticut Post Center. And what's funny is they had a window three feet to the left that people could stare at you and make faces at you, laugh at you, and so forth. And I had experiences there. I went to cue a record one day, and the needle fell out. I've had microphones go stop. I've had turntables stop and so forth. So it's not always the greatest you have. And when you're on the air and you're playing records, this was uh, another adventure. I don't uh, miss it at all because you get 45s that are cut off center. Or the label falls off. You don't know which what you're playing. And uh, you get rec turntables that are speeding up or slowing down by themselves, and it just gets uh, gets nutty. But uh, it's just it, it's so many adventures and adventures that happen in radio. And we'll share more as things go on. But I'm proud to have the opportunity to have a shot with radio with pictures here. This is great. So this is Don Nino saying bye for now, and we'll talk next time.